This video will cover what's a mining pool, how do mining pools work, and is it worth joining them? In previous videos on Bitpanda, we've covered cryptocurrency mining. For a quick recap, cryptocurrency mining is essentially computers who contribute their computing power and energy to the network of proof of work based cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. So moving on from that to understand about a cryptocurrency mining pool, a mining pool is when individual miners join their mining resources with other miners to really improve their chance of mining a block in the mining pool. But what's the need for individual miners to join resources? Well, the reason they do this is because the more hashing power a mining pool has, the better chance they have of mining a block. And if the mining pool actually achieves their goal and mines a new block, once the new block is mined, block rewards are shared in proportion to the mining hash power contributed by those individual miners. Miners pull together their resources in mining pools to get more consistent payouts. Rewards for solving blocks are paid out according to how much processing power someone contributed to the pool. The vision came from Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, and it's really clear that the vision was to create an ecosystem in which everyone could act as a miner to secure the Bitcoin network and also get freshly mined Bitcoins as a reward. So as the Bitcoin network grew, individuals had to invest more and more into their computing power to be able to actually get meaningful rewards from the process. So let's take a step back. One of the first recorded mining blocks came from Slush, Bitcoin talk forums in 2010, when a user Slush, who was actually watching this trend, realized that it would be a good idea to join forces with other miners and form a pool to increase the chances of receiving block rewards. So he founded Slush Pool, also known as Bitcoin.cz Mining, out of the Czech Republic in November 27, 2010. Since the early days and the foundation of Slush Pool, Bitcoin mining has actually turned into an industry of its own. Today, for example, it's actually no longer possible to solve a Bitcoin block with a regular computer, as the process is so much more complex and requires special ASIC units specifically designed for the sole purpose of mining Bitcoin. And events such as the Bitcoin halving make this industry even more lucrative for miners. It highly affects miner revenue, but also increases the significant chance of transaction fees. So what is an ASIC? Well, in a nutshell, ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuits that have been designed for one particular use, such as the mining of Bitcoin. With this in mind, the chart I'm showing you now actually shows how the current balance of power across the Bitcoin mining space plays out. Note that each of these mining pools usually consists of thousands of individual miners from around the world. The exact number of individual computers contributing to the network is really hard to tell, but I can tell you for sure it's in the millions. So you can see these large players of around 10 to 15 mining pools run by a vast majority of the Bitcoin network. And as Bitcoin was envisioned by Satoshi as a method of processing transactions that would work hard to ensure financial power wouldn't become too concentrated in the hands of a few, the network is a fair playing field for all participants as long as decentralization remains sufficient. So what do you think? Are you tempted to look into mining? Let me know in the comments if you like this content. And if you'd like to learn more, be sure to subscribe to Bitpanda on YouTube.